Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Debs and I did my final project on Project Brunch. Project Brunch is a newly established restaurant that caters towards breakfast and lunch foods. Um, one thing that sets them apart from everybody else is their famous um, s'mores and Reese's hot chocolate. They could be frozen and or hot. Um, what they do is they decorate the rim with chocolate and graham cracker and they put uh, marshmallows in it for s'mores and then they take a big Reese's and do the same thing for the Reese's one. I also worked with Project Brunch for my shadowing experience and I liked how they interacted with the customers. However, I learned that their parking space is very small and when people are waiting, the wait time is very long due to the popularity of the restaurant and that can deter customers from coming into the restaurant because of the long wait period. Um, so for this project, I intended to try and fix that by like giving contests and trying to find a better way so that customers don't have to wait so long. Um, three contests I did were a Facebook-like contest where um, the first 100 people to like the Facebook page for Project Brunch can get a 15% off their entire purchase at Project Brunch. And another um, contest I had was a slogan contest where five people um, get chosen and um, those people win a 20% off coupon to Project Brunch. And I believe they get a free um, frozen hot chocolate or hot or however they like it. Another contest I did was um, was the Snapchat. The three people to, to uh, advertise um, their favorite food and, and take a picture of it and post it to their story. And this was also for Instagram. They get 10% uh, off and they also get a free um, cookie because it's December and everybody likes cookies for the holidays. Um, three days that I dedicated to social media were um, Mondays where we would have our weekly specials and take pictures on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram so that way people could, you know, know what's in store for the month and the weeks ahead because Mondays, Project Brunch is closed. So I figured that would be a great opportunity for the customers or new customers to want to see what's there for the week. Um, also, another day was the National Cookie Day on December um, 3rd, I believe, I believe it was, and everybody gets a free cookie that day because it's National Cookie Day on all social media sites. And that could help bring customers in and maybe even new customers. Um, another day was December 16th, which I like so much, where uh, it's a dime in for a cause. And I picked St. Jude because it's dedicated to children and I'm a kid person, so... If I was working for Project Brunch, I would want to do something for them because I believe St. Jude is a great cause. Um, one thing I learned, well, a few things I learned from their swallow analysis was that they have many strengths where they're very good to their customers and then they accommodate their needs in any way they can. But I also found some weaknesses. It's a small location and due to that um, there can be a less chance for people not to come 
into their restaurant because it's small. And the waiting period is just totally, like, too long. Because from my personal experience, when I go out to eat there, I'm waiting, like, an hour to, like, an hour and 30 minutes. And that's annoying. But I sit there and wait for it because the food is really good. Um, the other thing I noticed is that there is no reservation. So you have to sit there and wait for your name to be called. So, like, you can't go and, like, do something for, like, a special day or whatever. So, for my uh, project, I said for Christmas, they're able to make reservations so that way the families can go out somewhere for Christmas if no one was celebrating or anything. Also, um, one of the, some of the strengths they have was they have weekly specials, and they have a interior design that attracts the customers to feel at home. It's like very comfy and cozy and friendly. Also, they have Wi-Fi for the guests and it is especially helpful to those guests who have to sit there and wait for long periods of time. Um, there are threats to the restaurant because there is no liquor license because it's a brunch and breakfast place and due to the economy, not many people can have the luxury to go out to eat. Opportunities for them is that there are not many um, brunch places on Staten Island, so that's one thing that sets them apart, which is good. Um, and customers enjoy going there for the food because they just feel at home and the food is just delicious. So all in all, Project Brunch is a great um, restaurant and um, it established itself very, very well. And um, I was happy to work with Project Brunch this semester because I learned a lot about it. So thank you for listening and I hope you guys have a happy holiday. Thank you.